This is George from High Tech Legion. There's no question that one of the big draws to open loop liquid cooling over air or closed loop liquid cooling is going to be the visual impact you can achieve. You can mix and match colors, tubing, reservoirs, lots of components, uh, all with distinctive colors. You also have a lot more room to work with, so you can do a lot more modifications and a lot more color matching within your system. In um, an open loop liquid cooling system, probably one of the components that has the biggest visual impact is the reservoir. And today we're going to take a look at the new XSPC Photon Tube Reservoir, which is definitely one of the coolest looking reses out there. The XSPC Photon is available in two sizes, 170mm and 270mm. Today we're taking a look at the 170mm variety. As you can see, it comes pre-assembled out of the box, already on the bracket. Uh, first thing you notice about the XSPC Photon is that they've ditched plastic entirely. The tube itself is crystal clear glass. The end caps and bracket are made of CNC punched aluminum, so you've got really nice materials being used um, on the photon itself. And it does have a much richer appearance than a plastic tubed reservoir. It doesn't translate as well on camera, I know, but uh, in person, uh, if you take a plastic glass and, a gla and an actual drinking glass and put them next to each other, you're going to see a big difference in the actual depth that you get. And uh, the XSPC Photon uses the glass to its advantage in this respect. Very, very rich looking appearance. So as you can see, you've got the clear glass and in the center, you've got a frosted tube with the XSPC logo engraved right on it. That frosted tube also has an LED hole on the end, so you will be able to actually light up the tube from within. So you get a very nice glow within the case. Now, moving around, on one end, you've got three G quarter inch connectors, as well as the LED slot right there. You've got some good spacing on the connectors right here, so as you can see, you will be able to fit three quarter inch outer diameter compression fittings without too much of a problem. Around the other end, you've got your fill port, which is a G20, so it is quite a bit larger, so you'll be able to get um, your funnel or whatnot in there for the fill. Now, looking inside, it's very difficult to see. I am aware, but you can actually see around the center tube is an anti-turbulence ring on both ends. So what happens with that is it's going to break up the turbulence coming in and out of the uh, reservoir itself. So you're going to get less turbulence, less air bubbles. You're going to more effectively trap the air bubbles up at the top of the reservoir. Getting a look at the base and the mounting, as you can see you've got four screw holes in the back and the uh, base will screw in from the rear for mounting. Uh, the two ends are held on with two screws each. Obviously popping the two screws out will allow you to remove the end and in turn remove the reservoir tube itself. And out as you can see really just a fantastic looking piece from X uh, XSPC. So then you'll mount obviously your base, if you do want to remove it, then simply put your reservoir back into place and it can be rotated, of course, to face the XSPC logo any way you like, as well as position your fittings in the most convenient manner. We'll then just pop right back in, two screws back in the back, and you're all back together. Looking at the accessory kit for the Photon, obviously a very simple uh, kit. First thing we have is actually a warning tag. Uh, each Photon reservoir is individually leak tested and pressure tested and sealed. It is not advised that you ever take it apart because it may not go back together correctly and they can't guarantee the seal. So just leave it all together and you're going to be good to go. Next thing you have, four screws for mounting the base. quarter inch black chrome plug, white 5 millimeter LED with the O-ring to hold it in. in uh, installation of the LED is very simple. O-ring pops right into the center and LED will just pressure fit right in. Remember there's no liquid going through this area of the um, 
reservoir itself, so you don't need to worry about it being liquid sealed. The O-ring is simply there to hold the LED into place. As you can see, I've installed a couple of 5 8 inch outer diameter fittings along with the plug. In the end, you've got a good amount of working room, no question. 3 quarter inch uh, diameter, outer diameter fittings won't be a problem. Uh, may impede a tiny bit on the uh, LED area, but I don't believe so, just going by eyeball. Unfortunately, I don't have any 3 quarter inch outer diameter fittings at the moment to show you. But um, definitely good spacing, once again, can be turned to make whatever you need as far as the setup. So you do have some great flexibility there. Uh, the one thing you do notice though, there are no 90 degree connectors. There's nothing facing forward, facing backwards. Uh, you just have the three on the end right here. Mounted up in the case and in operation, the Photon 170 looks absolutely phenomenal as you can see. The glass really has a great richness and the black of the aluminum really looks fantastic. Now, if you take a look at the LED tube, there's only one LED in the Photon 170, but the tube is perfectly uh, lit throughout. It's very uniform. You don't get a large glow at the bottom with it fading to the top. You get a very uniform glow throughout the tube. The XSPC logo is readily evident and the um, Reservoir itself can be moved within. I've actually got the uh, tubing a little too short to move it, but it actually can be turned in any direction you like, obviously, in order to show or hide the XSPC logo as you desire. So, really fantastic looking in the case. Great build quality. The anti-turbulence, as you can see, we've got a D5 going to it at almost full speed right now, and there's basically no movement as you look within the reservoir itself. The anti-turbulence works absolutely phenomenally on both ends. Now, one thing you should be aware of, when you are filling the Photon 170, those anti-turbulence um, slots on the end of the case, when you open it up and you go to fill it, they do become airbound uh, at times if you try and fill it with a funnel. I did have that happen a couple of times. I found absolutely no problem using a syringe or using a wash bottle. It was, you know, obviously that takes a little bit longer to fill your system, but it went absolutely smoothly. The funnel, as I say, I had some problems with it. It got airbound. It did have some spills, but that was the only problem I had with it. Um, tubing, flexibility, absolutely fantastic. Could have been a little bit more flexible, uh, possibly if it had had some 90 degrees somewhere, you know, facing out, so you don't have to use a 90 degree angle at any point. But obviously, that's a very forgivable sin for such a good looking reservoir. So, the XSPC Photon 170 is going to get a High Tech Legion Gold Award. Outstanding looking, very good performing, uh, performance in terms of turbulence. A little difficult to fill and uh, a little rough on the flexibility, obviously, because of no outer facing um, fitting connectors. But other than that, really just a fantastic looking and very good performing reservoir.